Hi everyone, this is my video review of the String Gym. Boom, there it is, there it is. So what is this thing, this little tiny piece of plastic and wire? Well, this is a little device that was sent to me uh, by a company called India Instruments. They're located in Berlin, Germany. Um, and they've been around since 1994, just to, so they have sort of history. They sell um, Indian classical music instruments um, to the to European market, and uh, they are run by musicians and um, people who really sort of care about this stuff. So I had a viewer to this channel actually had asked me about this thing. And I said, you know, okay, I don't really know anything about it. You know, let me see if I can find anything out about it. And, I wrote to any instruments and I said, hey, you know, I have this channel and people, you know, might want to see a little bit about this. So they were super kind and super um, awesome to send one of these to me. And I actually got it really quickly considering that I'm in, in the United States and they're in Germany. And what this is, is it's a piece of plastic. Do a little zoom in so we can see it here. Okay, so it's a piece of plastic here. And it has a wire, right? You can sort of see that strung across. And the idea is that you take this, you put your finger on the wire, and you can press. And you can build up your finger callus. And you can see I'm pushing pretty hard here. There you go. You can see this the line of my finger. So if you're a sitar player, you know how much building up a callus on your finger is super important. So maintaining your callus for sitar is really important and something that is crucial to being able to play the instrument. Um, and this just goes for most string instruments. Guitarists would be very familiar with this as well, and that's why I think this would be great for guitar players. In fact, I've been using this on my third finger and uh, even my pinky a little bit because those are the fingers I would also use with fretting on guitar, and I want to beef up those gals as well and i've been really i've been really 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 loving this thing and if you play sitar and if you're a sitar student i really would recommend actually getting this i have to completely be honest and say that i was skeptical when this was first um mentioned to me and when i first sort of got it i was like okay it just looks sort of like a little cheap piece of plastic with a with a wire going through it um but and, you know, it's like, oh, I could make that. But the point is, I wouldn't ever get around to making it. I never would make it. And they have made it. And it's priced really, I think, you know, fair for sort of being a unique sort of niche item. And it works. That's the other thing, too. So I was traveling for a couple days. And I wasn't going to have my sitar with me. So I brought this. I stuck it in my pocket. And everywhere I went... I was squeezing on this thing. I was using it nonstop. And I came back and my callus was great. I keep it in my pocket now. I walk around and I, I'm in New York, so I walk around the city. Every time I stop at a, uh, an intersection, I'm waiting across the street and I'm waiting for the light to change. I'm squeezing on this thing. <laughs> it's great. Um, it's awesome. In fact, I used it so much and I squeezed it so hard. Uh, after days and days of using it, that I, I broke the string. That's why if you look at this now, you might be thinking like, well, geez, it, the string looks kind of mangled on there. Who, you know, who strung that on there? But that's me. That's me. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I used it so much that I actually broke the string. The string broke at the little contact points, which is bound to happen. Any string breaks eventually. Um, and yeah, so I was like, all right, well, now what? I was actually really bummed because I liked using it so much. So I came home, got out my sitar wire, um, went with a, a gauge that was, you know, went with my main playing string, um, cut a little piece, made a little funky knot, looped it through, made another little knot, got it to hold, took me a couple tries to figure out how to do it, and... I'm using it. I'm using it all the time. Um, it's great. So I would really recommend going to www.india-instruments.com. There will be a link in the description. 
I'm in no way compensated for this. They sent it to me to do a review. If it had sucked, I would tell you that. Um, they're not paying me. I don't get any commission on you buying this thing. This is just something that I actually really liked. Um, and like I said, they're, they have a store in Berlin, which you can actually go to. You can check out their instruments. They do ask that you call them to set up an appointment time um, because I'm sure there's probably not a huge line of people waiting to get in. So they sort of like to know when people are going to show up. Um, and yeah, if, if nothing else, I ordered one of these from the website, have it mailed you. Like I said, I got mine in probably a week, which considering it came from Germany and had to go through all, you know, that international mail system was great. Uh, and then just in case I didn't mention it. So this is made by a German engineer and sitar player named Marco Paschkowski. Um, so Marco, I really like this. It's sort of like one of these things where, you know, sure, I've thought about something like this maybe over the years. I'm sure other people have, but no one's bothered to go down and make it. So someone now has, and you can now actually get this. Um, so I recommend that you do. I did show this to my sitar teacher, and uh, I don't think he totally understood what it was at first because he was sort of confused what was going on. <laughs> um but I, he, he liked it too. You know, I don't want to say he fully endorsed it because that's his, uh, his right to say that or not. But, um, yeah, he, he was not against it either. Um, I, don't, I just don't think he fully understood, understood what it was for. Um, certainly, this does not substitute practicing. You need to practice. Practicing is... I'm squeezing this thing now while I talk. Practicing is still the best tool for building up a callus on your finger and making your hands strong. I use this a lot. Um, it maintained my callus and maybe helped to make it a little bit wider because it wasn't just the single point that I was pushing on when you play. Um, but then of course I went to, I did a real practice. I went to my lesson and you know, when you're fretting for real and you're doing heavy mean and you're practicing big means over and over, clearly, that is going to cut into your finger more than this can. And um, it's a different type of workout. But this is a great additional tool to just throw into the mix. So, and like I said, if you play guitar, um, I actually think you would probably like one of these too, especially if you're sort of new or you find that you uh, have trouble sort of building a callus, maintaining a callus. Um, all right, so that is it. That is my review on the String Gym. Uh, you can get this at India Instruments, which is india-instrument.com. And if you uh, like this video, please like it. Please feel free to subscribe. I'm also on Patreon, so if you want to help me in my endeavors, uh, you can also go to Patreon and support me there. And thank you to everyone who's already done so. Have a great night. All right. Bye-bye.